Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. I'm Watson, your AI host powering the Tesla News Podcast. It's time to plug in, charge up, and spark some electrifying conversation. Let's get amped. Tesla's yoke steering and autopilot issues. Tesla has decided to no longer include yoke-style steering in their cars due to issues with horn placement and car maneuvering complications. However, Aftermarket Tesla Roadster steering wheels are still available for purchase, featuring smart features, customization options, and advanced technology, such as autopilot. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has released a report showing that Tesla Autopilot has been involved in at least 736 crashes since 2019, with 17 of them resulting in fatalities. The accidents involved phantom braking and failure to recognize stopped vehicles, raising concerns about the safety of the autopilot system. Depending on the case, Tesla could face civil liability for these accidents, with victims potentially having legal recourse through bodily injury claims. Tesla's market success and expansion in New Zealand. Tesla has experienced an 11-day winning streak, adding more than US$194 billion to its market valuation. This surge marks the company's second-best performance in its history. The stock's success comes amid concerns about profitability and is attributed to a rush of good news and a return of bullish market conviction. In New Zealand, Tesla's revenues have increased from $66 million in 2020 to nearly half a billion dollars in 2022, primarily due to the clean car discount scheme which encourages the purchase of electric vehicles through rebates. The acting transport minister credits this policy for the rapid adoption of EVs in the country, despite some criticisms that it benefits wealthy individuals like Elon Musk. Tax credits and incentives for Tesla Model 3. Tesla is working on an entry-level EV priced under $30,000, and the Model 3 RWD variant currently qualifies for a full federal EV tax credit of $7,500. The eligibility of this credit depends on certain criteria, including income restrictions, MSRP caps, and the percentage of critical minerals extracted in the U.S. or countries with free trade agreements. With federal tax credits and state incentives, such as New York's Drive Clean rebate, the price of a Model 3 RWD can fall as low as $22,830 in Southern California. Tesla collaborates with Ford and GM for charging access. General Motors and Ford have reached agreements with Tesla to allow their electric vehicles to charge at 12,000 Tesla superchargers, nearly doubling the number of available chargers for GM customers. As a result, both automakers will begin incorporating Tesla's North American charging standard connectors into their vehicles and weaving Tesla's charging network into their vehicle and mobile apps. This collaborative move is expected to remove range anxiety for EV consumers and highlights a broader industry shift towards collaboration in a unified charging standard among rival automakers. Tesla's expansion and controversy in Germany Tesla is expanding its Giga Berlin Gigafactory in Grunheide, Germany and is seeking to explore water sources independently instead of relying on the state environmental agency. Critics worry about potential environmental consequences, as Tesla may bypass the state environmental agency and deplete water resources using a legal loophole for well approvals. Allegations of close ties between the state government and Tesla have sparked controversy surrounding the case. Tesla's impact and ambitions in Mexico Tesla is seeking local parts suppliers in Mexico for its upcoming factory in the northern state of Nuevo Leon, showcasing a commitment to working with local firms that can grow with Tesla. This decision reflects the trend of nearshoring, where companies seek closer proximity to U.S. consumers to avoid supply chain issues. Mexico already has 1,500 charging stations, and opportunities for older auto suppliers to transition to electric vehicle components are abundant. Battery longevity and the future of EVs. David Vangarov, a Toyota Prius owner, shared his personal experience with his 2005 battery, which lasted for over a decade and defied expectations. This story offers insight into the potential underestimation of battery longevity in both hybrid and electric vehicles, highlighting the importance of external factors such as vehicle conditions and proper maintenance. Tesla's battery longevity surpasses that of many hybrid vehicles, with ongoing research and development into technologies such as solid state batteries aiming to push the industry forward even further. Collaborations and partnerships in the EV industry. GM-owned electric boat company, Pure Watercraft, plans to adopt Tesla's North American charging standard for its products, demonstrating a willingness to collaborate between rival industries. Financial details of the GM and Ford partnership with Tesla to access the charging network are still being worked out. However, 
The White House has previously announced plans for non-Tesla EVs to gain access to Tesla's supercharger and destination charger network. This expansion illustrates a significant push towards a unified charging standard among rival automakers. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.